It is time now to imagine it this Saturday morning. Carl Nelson, the chief scientist with Imagination Stations here. Typically the gloves come off when he's around, but when we're <laughs> wearing the gloves, he said nothing combustible except for our personalities. Good morning to you. Morning. <laughs> this has got to be one of the coolest science activities that you can show somebody. Okay. Like you have the supplies at home and the results are virtually guaranteed and the end product is so amazing. You have the Imagination Station guarantee. <laughs> That's right. It's okay. So. <laughs> an egg and vinegar. Yeah. You have these at home. So Tony, Easy. Right. go ahead. I've already filled the glass up with some vinegar for you. Go ahead and gently set that egg into the vinegar. Here we go. Beep. Swim, my pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, if you look closely, you can see there's what's happening. A little bubbles and little some bubbles sort of coming off. Yeah. The acetic acid in the vinegar is starting to dissolve the shell. Mm. All right. And if you let that sit for about a day, you're going to get something that looks like this. Ew. We've got some nice foam on top as the shell starts to dissolve. After a day, replace the vinegar. You get something looks like this. Really? And then after that, you will end up. Go ahead and take this. Okay. This is what we call a naked egg. <laughs> okay. And be careful because it's just two thin membranes oh, holding no that way. together. And inside is liquid. And inside is actually still the rest of the egg. The yolks <laughs> in there. The other whites are still in there. A lot of people think if you put it in the vinegar and dissolve the shell, that the whole egg will fall apart. But actually, it's all still together in there. In fact, here. Oh let's no. Do a little experiment. The I'll the let yolk. you. I'll let you do it. Say it. The yolk's on you. Okay. Hey, yeah. Look at that. And so you can see there's still, <laughs> still the yolk in there. There's still that thin membrane yeah. that is surrounding the egg. Now, what's really interesting about this is that, take another naked egg. Oh, okay. okay. And let's compare with the one that I started with. Yours is bigger. Right. The membrane is actually semi-permeable. Some of the vinegar actually penetrates through the membrane, causing the egg to swell up. Mm. Okay. Soaked in all the vinegar. Soaked in vinegar. So you probably wouldn't want to eat it. But the cool thing too is that membrane works both ways. Okay, so you could soak an egg in, let's say, corn syrup, <laughs> which has very little water in it. That is and one sweet egg. Those, yeah. It's a very sweet egg, but it's also very dehydrated. Not oh. a lot of water inside. I could take this and soak it back in some water. It'll rehydrate and look like your <laughs> really? naked egg. There's <laughs> lots of cool things you can do. In fact, you know, if you're a chemistry teacher and you don't want to wait two days for this to happen, what you can do is add some really concentrated hydrochloric acid okay, <laughs> to an egg. I did this when we first started. Right. And you can see that pile of foam as wow. the shell dissolves. It's and that the egg is almost, you can almost see some of the yolk coming through. Do you see that? Yeah. It's almost all dissolved. So wow. if a chemistry teacher, you want to do it in a few, few minutes, some six molar hydrochloric acid. If you want to experiment with your naked egg, why <laughs> not? <laughs> why not color it? Okay. With some green food coloring. That was just green dye? Green food coloring. I had a lot of it. Yeah. But the question, Tony, is what does the inside look like? I'm gonna guess it looks just the same. It's uh, you know, clear. Okay, well let's let's pop it open okay. and find out. Do you wanna do the honors? Sure, on this I'll one? do this one. You can hold you, it. I, you know, I would poke away from us. <laughs> so it doesn't like yeah. Okay. All right. Just yeah. give it a look. Oh, oh, hey, it turned green. So turn green here. I'm going to tear it open and see what's inside. Uh, green eggs and, and spam. I don't know if I can get that yolk out. It's got a little bit of green coloring on it, but for the most part, it's yellow. Wow. Okay? So right. the membrane surrounding the yolk doesn't let the dye through, <laughs> but this membrane is totally dyed green. Way so to go. lots of cool stuff you can do with vinegar, eggs, guaranteed results. And this, so cool. this all relates to egg stream science, I have a feeling. We are doing that down at the Science Center. Everything you can imagine with eggs. We're putting eggs in bottles. We're exploding eggs. We're making naked <laughs> eggs. We're doing all sorts of crazy egg science. Excellent. Come down, check it out. Excellent, sure. I guess we should say. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carl. And <laughs> the Imagination Station, you can go down there at any time, even if you don't want to get gloves on hands and messy. But and uh, It's just because it's messy. Yeah. There's nothing toxic <laughs> here. It just, you know, the food coloring really does stain. So gotcha. if you're going to do that, you might want to wear gloves. That's this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to the guys with sports.